I'm Kelvin Ning. I'm the Senior Vice President of Technology here at Nectaro Medical. Hi, I'm Jack Springer, CEO of Nectaro Medical. And Nectaro Medical is a clinical stage biotech company founded in Tempe, Arizona, with a focus on treating aneurysmal disease. For the most part, when patients are diagnosed with abdominal aortic aneurysm, they're in the small to mid-size range. And for the most part, they also have a risk of rupture and death associated with the disease. There are over a million patients diagnosed uh, with this disease, and only the sickest of sick of these patients can be treated. But because of the current options that are available, they have to wait for that disease state to progress to a point that they are now five centimeters for a woman or five and a half centimeters for a man before they can have some uh, type of intervention for them. We've come up with a treatment that allows for many, many more of these patients to be treated. So the Nectaro East system is a catheter delivered drug into the aneurysm. And where we differ from other therapies is other therapies are trying to reduce pressure and hopefully eliminate the uh, option of rupture for these aneurysms. Whereas what we're doing is we're delivering a drug directly to the aneurysm and treating the disease itself. The Nectaro system is a very simple, easy procedure. It takes roughly 45 minutes or less. The patient is, will pretty much be in and out the same day. With the clinical trial, we hope to show it could eliminate the need or very much limit the need for any of these more uh, invasive procedures it's been very exciting to be in Arizona and being a part of the biotech community here. Being exactly where we are here in Tempe has been very helpful. Not only are we next to a lot of resources, for example, ASU, uh, all of our interns have come from there. Nearly all of them have converted over to full time. If you'd like to learn more about Nectaro Medical, just go to nectaromedical.com and you can learn all about the technology and also the clinical trial that's taking place in the United States today.